All the two-year-olds have now reached the starting point. It's post time. And they're loading into the gates. Number one, tell her a secret. The first one in. One of four in this field making their lifetime debut. Number four, Fabulous Dynasty making his Ajax Downs debut. Number five, Captain Carver, another first-time starter. Two is six-figure return. Six, this cartel's girl. Ocean Dynastia and Just Call Me Stoli. They're at the post. And they're off. Veering at the start was Teller a Secret towards the center of the track. In the middle now is Captain Carver and towards the fence is Six Figure Return. From the far outside, this cartel's girl is exploding and winning it convincingly. This cartel's girl wins it. Six Figure Return second. Just Call Me Stoli will complete the triactor. Race one of unofficial 627. An official winner of the first race was number six, This Cartel's Girl. Second was number two, Six Figure Return. Third, number seven, Just Call Me Stoli. And fourth, number five, Captain Carver. For your attention, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Stewart's inquiry in this first race regarding the start, and also we have an objection. Number three, the unofficial seventh place finisher has claimed a foul against number two, six figure return, your unofficial second place finisher. Please hold all tickets until the first race has been posted official. Race is under review by the stewards. Also, we have a rider objection. The rider of number four, Fabulous Dynasty, your unofficial sixth place finisher, has claimed a foul against number one, Teller a Secret, the unofficial fifth place finisher.
Ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention, after a, a review of the video, the stewards have disallowed the claim of foul three against two. However, upheld is the four against one. Number one, teller a secret, has been disqualified from fifth and placed last for interference just after the start against number two, six-figure return, number three, Ocean Dynasty, and number four, Fabulous Dynasty. So number one, teller a secret, disqualified from fifth and placed last. This first race now becomes official with the numbers on the board, 6275. That's 6275. The results of the first race are now official. The winner is number six, This Cartel's Girl, two-year-old black filly by favorite cartel out of This Girl's Back by feature Mr. Jess. Fold in Colorado by Marty Newgober. This Cartel's Girl is owned by Patricia Ball, trained by Michelle Woodley, and ridden to victory by jockey Corey Spataro. This cartel's girl winning the distance with a time of 15.98 seconds, carrying a speed index of 81. Second number two, six-figure return. Third number seven, Just Call Me Stoli. And fourth number five, Captain Carver. Here now are your total results of the first race from top to bottom in your programs. Number one, Teller a Secret finished fifth but was disqualified and placed seventh with a time of 16.45 seconds. Number two, six-figure return was second with a time of 16.25 seconds. Number three, Ocean Dynasty was seventh and placed sixth with a time of 17.52 seconds. Number four, Fabulous Dynasty was sixth and placed fifth with a time of 16.74 seconds. Number five, Captain Carver finished fourth with a time of 16.39 seconds. Number six, this cartel's girl, the race winner, with a time of 15.98 seconds. And number seven, just call, call me Stoli, finished third, with a time of 16.36 seconds. Rechecking from top to bottom, order of finish in your program should now read 7265413. Those are your total results of the first race. In this upcoming second race, we have the following overweights. Number one, Hanover Hill Stoli, two pounds over. Number four, Abby's Cash, one pound over. And number six, Caraway's Risky Business, one pound over. Note that race two is the second half of today's Daily Double and both race A for the early pick three and this afternoon's pick five. Going home now? A uh, pretty exciting winner circle here. First time starter, this cartel's girl uh, has won her maiden very impressively. Owner Patricia Ball is with me and jockey Corey Spataro. Um, this is a Colorado bred two year old. You bought last year for $6,700 and an American, that's right, which is about 50 million Canadian or whatever. But wow, uh, you know, the, the word was out on her, yeah, the workouts there, uh, bullet times, Patricia. Uh, this must be very exciting for you. Very exciting, yeah. It was, I've was been a nervous wreck since she entered. <laughs> but Corey did an amazing job, and John and Michelle have just, I can't even say how, what a great job they've done with her. And who was part of the team with you down there to buy the horse? Ann and Jason and Belinda and um, Malena. It was, and a few other people, I can't remember. But. And she was already named, but what is this filly's nickname? Jolie. Okay, so we're going to be singing that song for the rest of the day, aren't we? And have you owned horses before, Patricia? Um, yeah, I have a broodmare, and um, I was partners with, with Embrace Extravagance, but not too much. Well, congratulations. I love your silks, the light blue with the rainbow. We're going to talk to Corey about how it went. A first-time starter um, from a more outwardly post there, Corey. You have been on her. You know her well. How did the race go? Uh, how did she handle it? I thought she was a pro. You know, uh, her first day, she uh, she could have been a lot more jittery than she than she was. She she took everything all in stride. She took it all in without panicking. She just kind of trusted, um, you know, me and, and and the pony rider and the gate crew. As soon as she walked in the gate, she set herself up, and, uh, and you know, she did what she knows how to do. And just a, a minor hesitation at the start, and then when that happens, sometimes you have to worry about horses coming in front of you but that didn't seem to bother her she just sort of powered to the lead didn't she yeah you know she's, she's small enough where she can recover uh you know pretty quickly um so even though we were just a half a jump slow out of there i knew within one or two strides out of there she was going to be just reaching high gear so 
Well, very exciting. Congratulations, gang. Uh, we got eight more races to go, so keep it up, and uh, hopefully we'll see Jolene again uh, very soon. Makes me feel alive.